uh, today I'm going to be doing my March and April book haul. I'm going to combine the two months because uh, I just forgot to do a book haul uh, after March. So I just decided to combine the two. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I got quite a lot of gifts <laughs> in the two months, which was really sweet of a lot of people. Uh, but I have put them into piles. I've got middle grade, YA, and I've got adult. Uh, adult, adult, I don't know, however you want to say it. I'm going to start with the uh, adult pile. And uh, if any of the books were gifted, uh, I will specify. The first two books I did by myself, uh, they're both non-fiction. I got it on a deal two for eight in Tesco's before all of this pandemic stuff happened. <laughs> Uh, I've got This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay and The Prison Doctor, My Time Inside Britain's Most Notorious Jails by Dr. Amanda Brown. So yeah, I'm excited to read both of these. The next two I did also by myself. <laughs> uh, basically what happened was the book people and the works were having quite a lot of sales like their websites uh, plus the book people were shutting down so I did get quite a lot of these like at like two pound or something they were really really cheap that's why I did this this was all like at the beginning of March the majority of the stuff that I bought for myself that's when that happened <laughs> but uh, the first one is The Six Loves of Billy Bins by Richard Lumsden I don't know if I'm saying that right Basically, I bought this at the next book because of Steph, or Steph Loves. <laughs> she would not stop going on about this book. I don't usually like contemporary, other than hard-hitting contemporary. She said she thinks I would like it, and it was really cheap on the works. I think it was like £2. So, that's why I picked it up, because it was so cheap. And the other one is Past Life by Dominic Nolan. This is a thriller as far as I'm aware, uh, that's why Steph put me on to it. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about it. Uh, the author has uh, commented on some of the posts that Steph's put up about the author and his books and I commented saying that uh, I really need to read this and he says yes you do, you know. So uh, that's why I ended up picking up because both the author and Steph were going on about it saying that I need to read it <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do finally um then I actually got sent the next Sherry Lupino book I don't know if it's the next one that's out or if there's another one already out I'm not sure but it's someone we know it's this I got sent it from Tom Hill at Penguin Books UK they were doing like I think just giving out copies to people and I was actually lucky enough to actually be able to get a copy sent which was really really cool and it was really sweet and I'm so excited to read this pretty sure it's a thriller also <laughs> me and my thrillers terrible honestly uh, the next three books are James Parsons <laughs> probably expected this was gonna happen but again Two of these were cheap from the book people because they were having the closing down sale. The first one is The Store. Next one is The Fall of Crazy House, which is a sequel to, I think it's just called Crazy House. I read that one. It's, I think it's a YA. This should actually be in the YA section, but I've kept the James Pattersons together. But, um, I have read the first one, uh, I think last year, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think it's dystopian, so I really enjoyed it. It was really good, so I'm excited to read the sequel. I didn't even know there was a sequel until I googled it. And the next is The 20th Victim. This is the 20th in the Women's Murder Club series that is up here. Uh, me and Steph have been buddy reading these. Uh, finally got number 20. Even though number 19 just came out at Christmas time and he's already got another one out, but it's fine. I swear, me and Steph are always saying like the dude does not sleep, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm still excited to read it, so yeah. I actually bought this uh, for as like a treat to myself for World Book Day, so yeah, that's why I bought this one. <laughs> Plus, I wanted it, because it's James Parson. 
It's terrible. Next two books, uh, one is adult and the other is YA, but both of these were actually kindly sent to me from Lauren, uh, from Lauren the Nerd on Instagram. Um, she wondered if I wanted to do a book swap and I sent her Becoming by Michelle Obama because that was the one she wanted. So, uh, and I got to pick two books, <laughs> which was really sweet. Uh, I got The Chain by Adrian McKinty. I, I've been eyeing this up for a while. I've seen it a lot all over Instagram. So I was like, so she, <laughs> when she asked which books, I was like, I instantly wanted this one. And then she was like, oh, why don't you pick another one? And I'm like, okay, that's so sweet. I did also send her uh, an origami creation that I do. Uh, because she liked one of the ones that I posted about, so I did send her one. Uh, the other one is 13 Minutes by Sarah Pinborough. I see, I had seen this on Booktube a while ago and I was interested, but I wasn't sure who'd ever read it, but then I read the synopsis and I was like, okay, maybe I do want to read it. So when this was one of the options, I picked this one. So I'm excited to read this. Next is YA. First one. <laughs> oh, this is so bad because all three of these were gifts. <laughs> oh, this one is Spell Slinger by Sebastian de Castell and it's floppy. But uh, this is from Claire over at Books and Ink on Instagram. And She's honestly amazing. She's part of uh, Steph's Contemporary Book Club. So she so sweetly sent this off my wish list. I have read it, but I did want it to reread because it's one of my favourite fantasies I've ever read. I only read this because of Jade over at JD Rereads because she would not have gone on about this author and the Spell Slinger series. So I did end up picking it up for the Newts last year. And I ended up loving it, which was weird, uh, because it's a darker type of fantasy, and I really quite like that. So I'm excited to reread it at some point, hopefully. I don't know when, but I do want to reread it. Next <laughs> was also a gift, uh, Good Girls Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This was from Brooke, over at Brooke's Books. I think that's how you say it uh, on YouTube and uh, Twitter and I've already read this I love this I gave it like 4.75 stars it was so close to being a five star it was ridiculous but I loved this it was amazing and uh, thank you Brooke it was it was so good and I, I'm excited to read the sequel uh, I think it's good good old bad blood and uh, the last YA is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman it's volume one this <laughs> This was from uh, Suzanne. Uh, she basically sent this to me in April with, along with another book, but it is a middle grade, so I'll get to that in a minute. But basically, uh, for April, we did the S Club Readathon, and uh, me, Steph, and Suzanne all sent each other something off our wish list. So, this was one of the things she sent me off my wish list for our readathon uh, swap thing, which was really sweet. Because I first read this when I went to go visit Steph and I loved it. I did not expect to love it, but I did. I'm so happy that I now have a copy of my own. It was amazing. I really read it already. <laughs> so, I love this. Uh, next few books are World Book Day books. I did buy these myself. Uh, I did want to get a few. So, I got Killing the Dead by Marcus Sed. Sedgwick. Oh, I don't know if that's how you say that, but it looked really cool. Then I got The Day We Met the Queen by... That's not happening. It's the author of The Boy at the Back of the Class, which I actually have up here in my shelf. So. Uh, then I got Evie in the Jungle by Matt Haig. Then... Kid Normal and the Loudest Library. I just thought it sounded funny. Uh, uh, by Greg James and Chris Smith. There you go. And from the author of a 
Murder Most Unladylike, The Case of the Drowned, Drowned Pearl by Robin Stevens, which the Murder Most Unladylike is Middle Grade Monthly's pick for June, I think, which I do actually have. I did buy that, so I got the Word Book Day book of it. And lastly is Middle Grade, yay! Uh, of course, <laughs> Steph so sweetly bought me the Believeathon 2 Journey to the Stronghold, The Compendium by Gavin over at How to Train Your Gavin. <laughs> oh, Steph, thank you, honestly. She's, she put a note in and it says, absolutely necessary for you to have a copy of this. <laughs> so, oh, it is absolutely necessary, definitely. And I'm so excited for Believeathon to believe it on to start so I think it's probably already going to be started by the time this goes up because it starts on Monday and I'm filming this on Sunday so so believe thought would have already started I forgot to say that this was the first book that Steph got me for our swap in April and the other book was Nevermore by Jessica Tencent The Trials of Morrow Control I have already read this and I loved it so much it was so good and it was amazing and I love the colour because it's blue, my favourite colour, so yeah, both of these are blue, so thank you Steph, they're, they're both amazing honestly. And then I did have to go and get the sequel of Nevermore and I got Wondersmith, yay. Uh, this was cheap also on the book people I think, it was like £2 as well. So I had to pick it up because I just knew that I was going to love Nevermore. So I got the sequel. What's this one called? The Calling of Morgan Crow. And I think there is a third and a fourth book due to come out. So I'm excited about that. And the other book that Suzanne got me, which was incredible, did not expect it, was the Goblet of Fire Ravenclaw edition. Ah, it's so beautiful, honestly. I can't get over this. Oh, yes. It's absolutely beautiful. And oh my god. Yeah, I don't know if I will ever read my Ravenclaw editions of the Harry Potter series because I would just want to save them for as long as possible and not, you know, get them damaged. But they're just so beautiful. And I'm just so thankful that I have the fourth one now. Apparently, the fifth one's due to come out soon as well, so God knows. But the last book I bought for myself was like a collector's edition of A Miracle Paddington by Michael Bond. The first ever copy of A Miracle Paddington came out in 1958. So this is a special, special edition of A Miracle Paddington. And I love him and Winnie the Pooh. I did unfortunately prefer Paddington. Uh, my sister did like Winnie the Pooh more. Uh, honestly, I love Pooh as well. Sorry, Steph. <laughs> but yeah, I love Paddington so much. I still have my massive teddy bear actually is still over there. Uh, it is in a post on my Instagram. <laughs> but yeah, I love Paddington so much. And the last book which was another thing similar to the Sherry Lupina book uh, is a middle grade home games by Benjamin Markovitz. I'm not entirely sure if that's how you say it but this was sent to me by HarperCollins I think it's HarperCollins 360 yeah I think it's HarperCollins 360 on Instagram I'm not entirely sure but it's definitely from HarperCollins <laughs> But I'm so excited about this. Thank you, Harper Collins, for this. This is, this is, I'm so excited. Yay. But I think that's all of the books from both April and March. March and April. I'm going backwards. But I'm so thankful to everyone who got me something. You don't ever have to buy me anything. I'm just so grateful. Um, I'm just so excited to basically read all of these. <laughs> which is bad but uh thank you I can't stop saying thank you at this point it just feels like thank you isn't enough but yeah I'm excited to read a lot of these yeah I might try and read a miracle panton during believe maybe I did read it for last year's believe as well 
not this copy but uh, the audiobook version but that's it that's everything I think uh, as far as I'm aware of uh, that I need to go over but I will talk to you in the next one I hope you enjoyed my Goodreads Twitter Instagram is in the description as always and anyone I've mentioned uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll see you next time bye